Hi, uh, today we're going to take a look at a CO2 pistol. Uh, we're going to look at the Crossman 3574. This gun was made between 1983 and 1997. Uh, it resembles a Colt Python, but it actually breaks like a uh, Webley Mark IV. We're going to call it a Colt Python replica because it does resemble that gun the most. Uh, this is a single action, double action 177 CO2 pistol. It's got a 4 inch barrel, it's 6 shot, it has a safety. I'm going to show it to you real quick, and then we're going to go shoot it. Now, they made this gun with a 6-inch barrel, which is it's really common. You can get one of them real easy. The 4-inch barrel is a little harder to get, but I have seen them around. I've seen a few. This one was in good shape, so I bought it. Uh, they also made one with an 8-inch barrel, but they're, they're hard to get. You don't see a lot of them with the 8-inch barrel. So let's take a look at this gun, and then we're going to go shoot it from 20 feet. So this gun has a front fixed sight. It has the ribbing over here like the Python does. <laughs> it has a rear adjustable sight for windage and elevation. Right here is a safety and you just push that back and forth for the safety. You push it toward this way and it's on safety and the other way it's off safety. I usually just leave it off safety unless I'm, unless I'm carrying it. So anyway, it is a, like I say, a single action. It's a double action. It actually has the double action is not too bad, but the single action is a lot like the 38T. It's, it's, it's pretty good. It's not as good as the 38T or the 38C by any means. In order to load this, there's a little button on top. Pops open. You load your pellets in. Put the CO2 in right here. There's little clips here that hold that hold that part of the grip on. Now this this gun was made uh, for the masses, and so it was it was fairly inexpensive. What they it's a lot like the 38C, except for it's just not as good of a build. The barrel is a plastic polymer type, and the rest of the gun is is steel. There's a lot. There's there's quite a few plastic parts in it. Some of the parts inside are, are, are plastic too. <laughs> anyway, let's go shoot this gun. I, I just resealed it this morning. Haven't even tested it or charged it. So let's go see if it works. Hasn't been sighted in either. So maybe we'll have to do that. So let's take a look at the target. Uh, this is from 20 feet offhand. And like my first shot was here. And so what I did, I guess it's, it's shooting a little bit low. So I just basically aimed like I aimed like right about here. And see, I got a pretty, pretty decent little group there for a gun with a four inch barrel. Uh, it's a pretty fun gun to shoot. So, uh, Get a little real closer angle here. So that's my group from 20 feet. So that's it today for uh, my video on the Crossman uh, 3574. Uh, I was pleasant, pleasantly surprised on how well I actually shot. Uh, it's a pretty fun little gun to shoot. I really like uh, revolvers. I like the revolvers a lot more than I do the semi-auto pistols. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching my video. I always enjoy making these for you. Now let's take one more look at this pistol and then we'll call it a day. Thanks again for watching and you all have a good one. We'll talk to you soon.